Hi, hello, welcome once again on my scientific channel and scientific blog discoversocialsciences.com. Uh, it is August 25th, 2020, and I am starting with this video a series or a complex package of educational material based on my own experience as a small investor in the stock market. If you have been following my blog since like January this year, you know that I have been pursuing that personal strategy of sort of coming back into the investment game after a few years of break. If you haven't been following, here is a short summary. Uh, in the past, uh, I used to make quite good money in the stock market. After that, uh, I pulled back from the stock market. I needed cash from other investments, mostly in real estate. And now I come back. I have come back to the stock market. And um, I have adopted a strategy of progressive learning by trial and error. So in short, my own personal strategy as an investor is the following. Every month I invest a more or less fixed amount of money in the stock market and over the whole month or uh, during each month of uh, time or break between those uh, installments of cash being invested in the stock market, I study the performance of my investments. I study myself as I make those investment decisions. And so I try to figure out what is the right strategy. And well, it has paid off quite nicely. In a moment, I can show you like the first general glimpse uh, on that performance, on my results, and I decided that I can use that personal experience of mine as good base for teaching economics and management. Of course, I am far from being Warren Buffett. Uh, I am light years away from such successful investors. Yet, I have some success and I have personal experience and my own uh, opinion or I am deeply convinced, I can say that I am deeply convinced that whatever story I am telling to my students, at the end of the day, at the bottom line, I always tell the story of my own existence. So I can just as well make that story genuine and truthful. I can truly refer to my own experience, which is relevant to the subject matter of my teaching. I teach mostly economics and management and various branchings thereof. So experience in the stock market uh, is an interesting one. So. In this video, I am shortly summarizing my basic ideas uh, connected to, uh, to that specific stream of teaching and stream of writing. So here you can see in the video window the front page of a short presentation which I prepared precisely for recording this video. This is my research log as of August 25th. 2020, subtitled My Personal Experience with Investment in the Stock Market and My Teaching of Economics and Management. Okay, so I go to that presentation and I will shortly give like the main lines. So first of all, why I think it is important. I have successful experience. That's the first thing. I have some uh, some uncontested success and here it is you can see it here in I'm sorry you can see it here in the red print over the last seven months of investment 
I have accumulated a 47.9% return on the cash invested. I am concluding that this is really not bad for a theoretician, isn't it? For a scholar. Scholars are supposed to do to to just do science and to study things and I decided to apply my science to my investment strategy and the thing seems, seems to have worked. Huh? So I have successful experience and I have some hindsight on the mistakes I made. Now from the perspective of time as I look back I can see what brought me good return, what was like a sound investment decision and what was obviously a mistake with those interesting cases in between, which technically in strictly financial terms are failures. I have some of them, but they have some promising shade and in my teaching based on my investment experience, I can sort of dive into that interesting shade and explore it. So the facts are that since January this year, uh, I have invested almost $8,000 in the stock market and today, uh, and today is August 25th, 2020, my investment portfolio is worth uh, $11,719.91, whence that rate of return of almost 48%. I think that personal experience is impossible to bypass in any true teaching. I love feeling that I am good a teacher. Maybe it is narcissistic from my part, yet I love the feeling. And uh, I am proud when I can see that I have delivered good teaching to my students. This is why I want to sort of dive head first into a slightly different way of teaching and to try to use my experience. So what exactly I think I can teach my students through and on the grounds of that specific experience as a small investor in the stock market. First of all, I have experienced, like in true flesh, important economic decisions. For example, I have discovered that when I make financial decisions in the stock market, emotions play a huge role. Controlling and acknowledging the emotions, which by the way are very strong, unexpectedly strong, acknowledging and controlling those emotions when I move my money around is capital for making informed decisions. So I experienced those emotions. I experienced the cognitive bias that those emotions uh, involve and induce. Like really, it is uh, like an experience of tunnel vision just uh, applied to, uh, to financial placements and to financial investments. I have made a lot of mistakes and I have achieved some successes, which I like documented with numbers. I have a nicely positive bottom line, so it is like um, uh, good grounds to develop interesting insights into the basics of business strategies. And finally, uh, due to the specific context of uh, 2020. So the pandemic, then the social unrest in the United States. Um, I have experienced the practical impact of macroeconomic environment upon my microeconomic investment strategy. In, and over those last seven months, I have acquired uh, much more acute experience or much more acute feeling of connection between that microeconomic and macroeconomic realm, uh, much more acute as compared to what I had in my head like one year ago. 
Now, I want to combine somehow, I don't even exactly know how yet, but I want to figure it out. I want to combine teaching based on my experience with science based on my experience. So my question or the question that I am asking myself is how can I use my science to study my experience? Uh, now, to be completely honest, uh, that nice gain I have in the stock market, those almost 48% earned over uh, seven months, it, is, it, it has like two big sources. I mostly earn the money directly on or indirectly on like big economic waves associated with the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, I made money on the pandemic. Just as cruel, just as brutal as it can seem, I earned money on the pandemic. I think it is an interesting experience which I can break down, which I can share and which I can study. Secondly, I made money on the technological shift towards renewable sources of energy. And my own experience as a small investor proves that uh, contrarily to what many environmental activists claim, our economy really moves towards renewable energies. It is a fact. And I have some interesting failures in my portfolio such as my positions in General Electric, Medtronic, Volkswagen and the company called Urban Edge Properties. And my like barely outlined idea is that I can study those failures uh, on the one hand in the spirit of the so-called black swan theory and secondly, on the other hand, in the spirit of my main thread of research, which is research on intelligent collective adaptation. So that would be all uh, in this short video, which is introducing essentially that path of teaching and research based on my experience in the stock market. And well, as usually, in, uh, by the end of each video, I wish you uh, a nice day, that uh, nice Tuesday, August the 25th, and I wish you can have fun with science. Bye.